Welcome to the firewall and security segment of building a multi-tiered cloud application. It goes without saying that security is a critically important part of any networked environment. Dimension Data uses Cisco networking and security products throughout the environment to offer a secure enterprise class architecture. We'll begin this segment by demonstrating how to connect to the cloud servers using the secure Cisco AnyConnect VPN client. If the client is not already installed, we'll go to the Clouds tab, click on the site VPN to establish a connection to, in this case, US East VPN. This will take our browser to the VPN login form. Enter your cloud account username and password, then click Login. The VPN client will be launched if it has been previously installed. If it hasn't been installed, an installer will begin to download and install the Cisco AnyConnect client. Simply follow the on-screen instructions to complete installation. Once started, the VPN connection is established and we can access any cloud server on our networks. Firewall functionality is controlled with access control lists using the ACL function on the network management dialog. ACLs allow us to permit or deny access to the public addresses assigned to our VIPs and NATs. As mentioned in an earlier segment, when a cloud network is created, by default, any public address may access any cloud address on the TCP ports 80 and 443, the web and SSL web ports, as well as ICMP. These default rules are adequate for our web tier. However, we are going to be more restrictive on our application and database tiers. We will start with the web network. Click on the gear icon to bring up the Manage Network dialog. Next, click on ACL rules. We are now presented with the ACL rules listing for this network. You will see the mentioned default rules in place. It will be necessary to allow web traffic on port 80 from anywhere on the internet, and allowing ICMP will let the public ping the NAT or VIP. Since we don't have an SSL server running for our application, Let's delete this rule. Click on the red X icon next to the rule to delete and confirm the pop-up by clicking OK. The ACL rules list will refresh and we see the rule is deleted. Now let's remove and add some rules to the app tier network. Close the Manage Network dialog box for the web network and click on the gear icon for the app network. Click on the ACL rules button and we're presented with the ACL rules for the app network. We want to be restrictive, so we'll start by removing the default web and ICMP rules. Next, we allow port 80 traffic from our web tier servers to access the VIP we created for our application tier servers. To do this, we need to know the IP address that the web tier is using to access the VIP on the app tier. By default, each cloud network is assigned an outbound source NAT address for servers in that network to use for outbound access. Servers that do not have their own NAT address assigned will use this default source NAT address for all outbound traffic. We'll log into one of the web tier servers using SSH and use curl to make a web request to http colon slash slash whatsmyip.opsource.net which will then return the source NAT address we will use as our source in the ACL rule. We see the IP address of the source NAT and make a note of it for use in the ACL rule. Returning to the management GUI, we click on Add ACL Rule and are presented with the form to enter information about our new ACL. We give the rule a name, select an available position in the ACL list, choose a protocol type, in this case, TCP, select Permit, and choose Specific for Source IP Address. This is where we will use the IP address returned by the source NAT. For Destination Address, we will choose the VIP of the Application Server Load Balancer, and make the port equal to port 80. Click Submit, and the rule is created. To allow MySQL traffic between the application and database tiers, we create similar rules on the database network using port 3306 and the private addresses of the application and database servers. We've instituted fairly tight controls between the web and application tiers, as well as the application and database tiers. You can apply as little or as much control as needed based on your organization's security policies and best practices.
Now that we have our ACLs configured, it's time to see if our application works. We'll go to the VIP address of our web front end, enter a zip code, and see the return data. Through the use of ACL rules, we can limit access between network tiers and protect one tier from another should a security intrusion occur. It's important to follow industry best practices and the policies of your organization when applying ACL rules. Additionally, server patching and software updating are important to ensure the most recent security fixes are deployed to your cloud servers. All of these together help reduce the risk of intrusion to your application. This concludes the firewalls and security segment of building a multi-tiered cloud application.